nail art time. What I've done here is um, I've gotten ready a set that I'd like to do. And this, this new type of nails that I've got is, um, let me grab them here. It's a full cover stiletto, but they're a short natural. And I usually get these BU ones. You can get them on Amazon. They're fairly cheap, like for, these ones were like $10.99, I believe, and I usually get in my other stiletto tips, if I got the cover here. These are the shorter stiletto tips. You can, you get 500 in a pack. This one, I think, is $12.99. The really long ones are $15.99, I think. They're worth the money, believe me. Anyway. So I've been starting to use these full cover stilettos because it's full. I can use acrylic on them, anything I want to get them prepped. And I don't mind doing it this way. I still prefer my tips because they're still easier to do apply if you ask me. But this gives me the advantage to be able to do a full nail if I wanted to do art on a full nail. So I've been using these a little bit lately. Now, what I do is, what I've done here is I've used some, I had this spiritual it's called, it's uh, Running With Wolves Shimmer. And I put this on four nails along here. Then I also got this other brown pretty color, which of course they didn't put a number on it, but it's, it's a brown. It's almost like a neutral, little bit deeper brown than a natural nail bed would be. Just a little bit more. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do something, something a little bit different today. I, I like I said, I've got these um, water decals from What's Up Nails, it's P062, and they almost look like a little bit of newsprint put on, but I don't wanna use them all. I wanna to try to vary what I'm doing. I also have this gold pattern stick-on um, adhesive type overlay for a nail, and I thought I'd use that on one of the nails and then do these, and then I want to leave one clear. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing this. Now on the water decals they say to take cotton, dip it in water. I have some water here, so I'm just going to sit it on my pad here. And you just sit them on, let them get wet, so you can pull them off. So I'm just going to let them sit there and they say to at least give it 10 seconds. Now, I've done this one other time. They actually, they work quite well. Um, me, I like to use a little bit of my uh, my brush on nail resin underneath just to make sure. That's why I put um, this spiritual color on just because I thought it was the closest I had to something like this color. So if I happen to run over or something happens with the actual decal, I have a color underneath and it won't be as predominant. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's move this one up so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to pull off the sticker. Oop. Now I think I am going to use some of my, my glue just to give it a little bit of traction there. Oh, it's starting to ravel. Eek. I'm going to get it on there. Oh, perfect. And I'm just going to push it on down. to how I want it. And of course you'd have to go through, um, cut it out a little bit. And now I'll move on to my next one. I'm gonna put another one on the little thing here so we can make sure we've got a good, oh, here's the next one here. So we can start getting them wet to go. 
I'm going to put a little bit of my IBD gel down. Sorry, resin. Just a little bit, just to give it some adhesion. I'm gonna get this one up. It's already starting to come off. They never quite make these quite long enough for a full nail. Unless you got really short nails, a lot of these are like a little too short. That's why I went and I put a color down underneath, so it really helps. So there you can see I've got that one on. So, um, this color is what I chose to go behind this. So again, I'm going to just put a few drops of this around just to hold it a bit. Grab it by the corner, pull it off. Now, like I said, you probably don't need the resin. I just, for my own personal welfare, I think it's just better because then you don't have to worry about adhesion, especially if you're going to put any acrylic or anything on top, you don't have to worry about that. Try to get it down as much as possible. Okay, so I'm going to move this one over and get the last two on my, on my thing, get to make sure they're getting wet. Okay, oop. I just noticed I had a couple of droplets of water here. I just want to get those off. Okay, now I'm going to come to this one. Put a little bit of my glue down. I don't know, just gives me a little peace of mind. Then I don't have to worry about my acrylic sliding off or something because my deck will unadhere it or something. there and sometimes you'll see there's I don't know if you can see it there's a little bit of lines in there top coat will cover any little tiny imperfections in that so it won't be as bad so I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting these on then I'm gonna put my little um, gold stickers on these are self-adhesive so I'd still probably put some of my resin down anyway just to make sure and then I'll be back Okay, so I'm just going in and putting a few details on a little bit of black lines here and there just to give it like a Almost like a ripped book effect If you want to call it that it might just be detailing whichever Give it some like little shadow. And I'm looking and everything looks pretty good. So at this point I'm going to let everything dry. I'm going to go make sure everything is nicely um, trimmed up and um, put a top coat on and then I will give you a reveal shot. So I'll see you next time. Bye! And here's the finished result. Oh, they got the dogs going, it sounds like. Playing with the dogs. Okay. There we go. And I will see you next time.